because we are limited on drift time. If we don't actually get drifts, ooh, that's nice. Right on that wall. What's up everybody welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit here on a set of Corsa unfortunately it is on the Xbox one not the PC my graphics card decided it wanted to die so I cannot run a set on the PC and do all the mods that I wanted to do but I did want to play a set so I'm back here on a set on the Xbox one and there are some tracks that I have not tried when the update came out because I haven't been on a set for a very long time so there's the Highland Drifts I believe there's a few other tracks that I haven't tried uh, um, so we're going to try and get some drifting on, on a couple of these tracks, maybe, uh, head into an open lobby, see if there's some people drifting and try and maybe get some tandems, you know, impromptu. So we are going to head to the Highland Drift Circuit in the E30 and, uh, we're going to see if we can't get a slide back on. Now I am on the Logitech G920, full 900 degrees of rotation, hydraulic handbrake, which is wired into X. So I do have a hydraulic cam brake here on a set on the Xbox One. Let's check G920 shifter, 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel, and the energy innovations bucket seat that I am sitting in, keeping myself nice and comfy. So, like I said, my graphics card did take a crap on my PC, so I have to find a way to rebuild my PC so that I can run a set again on the PC because I want to get into. Seto drifting with all the mods and all the custom cars that everybody has out there. It looks like it's a lot of fun. Doors are definitely had online, especially on the PC. So we're going to see how we can do. It's been a while, so hopefully uh, this uh, is not horrible. So we're going to switch tires to Street Sport. I'm trying to remember settings that I did. Leave that. We're going to go three and three and then we're gonna give this a go and see how it goes system check on the e-brake we are good to go because I do have the handbrake wired into X turn my lights off so Highland Drift have not drifted the circuit yet so let's see how this goes oh that turn came out of nowhere was not expecting that turn all right, so you have to give me a give me a, a little bit of a lap or so to get back used to this. Oh, that's grass, and definitely not looking as good as I had hoped. Oh, we probably should have went to a place that I knew about before coming to a track that I had do not know. But I do miss the physics here on Assetto. So, let's kick this a little bit. There we go. I don't think I'm going to drift this whole thing in third, though. Ooh. Ooh, save that. We're good. We saved it. We're good. A little clutch kick. A little e-break. There we go. And the feel is getting back. Ooh. That snap back on me though. The one thing that is the problem on this game is once it snaps out of you, you're done. Go. Ooh, went full lock. I'm surprised it didn't spin out, but we're good. Apparently, these corners like third gear, so we're gonna try this one third. Down shift. The clutch kick. There we go. Oh, no. No. Oof, this E30 though. I do love how this E30 drives. I was gonna try a Supra, but I know the E30 drives well and you know to get back into this game, I figured why not drive a car that I know handles pretty well. That turns sharper than I thought. Clutch kick, little e break. Nope. I don't think the E30 has the power though to drift this thing at full bore. 
like the uh, Supra probably would. But definitely get the feel back. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I was going to here on the first run out here on Highland Drifts. Clutch. Oh, that's grass. Save it. A little dirt rally for you, dirt four. We're good. I don't know this track. I've never been on this track, so this is definitely a new experience for me right now, but I'm having a lot of fun. Um, not sure where this is going to go. Oh, that's a sharp turn. Second gear. Ooh, we got it, though. From third. A little bumpy on this cobblestone. We got it. Ooh, that snapback right there. Ooh. Settle down there, E30. Alright, we're gonna clutch kick this this way. I think, I think I'm losing grip on these cobblestones, but. So, I think one lap done here. Not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. We go. Bogged it down a little bit, but, you know. Break, little clutch kick. We're gonna go too wide. Uh, just running the grass line, but we didn't crash completely. All right, so we didn't crash completely. We're gonna try and bang this turn out in third gear. Probably not gonna happen, but we're definitely gonna try it. Clutch, little clutch kick, and e break. Get it sideways. There we go. Oh, I think we got it. We got it. We're good. We got that old turn in third gear. I didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, too much. Couldn't left foot break as much as I'd hoped. So I think we're going to head back to the drift park after this. Try to get ourselves acquainted back. You know, in a set of we'll probably try and see online session as we die. Although I kind of want to try another car here. We may grab the Supra and try the Supra at this track. And then, uh, then maybe head into... See if there's anybody drifting online on the PC. Would be more people, but we are not on the PC. We're on the Xbox One, so if anybody's still on the Xbox One, I'm gonna hold that out though. It's only 30s getting it though. I'm surprised that this only 30 is doing as well as it's doing on this track. Except for when you go in the second gear, I forgot there is damage on this, so my miss shifts that I've been having issues with on other games would definitely do some serious damage here. Alright, let's see if we can't save this turn. Oh, I think I tapped that wall. Just tap, right? Alright, yeah, I think we're going to have to pull the 2J out and see how that Supra does here. Probably has a lot more power. We can probably bang it out in fourth gear around here. Save it. There we go. We're good. Doing like a track and race right now. Okay, here we go. Back in the cobblestone section. Not yet. Oh, this is that sharp turn. Full lock. Just tap. We're good. Yeah, these cobblestones are definitely messing with the car a little bit. But we're good. Still got it. Nope. All right, so I think it's time to switch to the 2J and see what the 2J can do here. And then uh, we'll uh, probably head online and see if there's anybody online. Toyota. And now that we got all the technical problems fixed, we are here. Highland Drifts with our uh, 2J Supra. I had to reinstall it all, quit the game, and redo it. Turn track control off, e brake check. Good on the e brake. So now we're going to see what this Supra can do. I don't know what turbo we're at. Uh, throw it at 50% for right now. So Highland Drifts, Supra, here we go. 
probably should have went to a different gear there. This might be a... Here we go. Ooh, there we go. Oh, the super snaps back. I remember that now. Super does have a bit more of a snapback. All right, we need more. We need more boost. We're back up to 70. Third gear. Clutch kick. On the grass line. No. Super sounds seems like it's breaking up. Oh, yep. There's that snapback. Super sounds like it has a little breakup. Uh. I don't know if maybe something's going wrong in my car, or if it's just me, the pedal set, or something. So, apparently, I did a lot better in the E30, because I can't get a handle of the Supra. I don't have a good tune for the Supra yet, so... Aw, oh, just a tap. I know what it is, my headlights are on. Now, now I'll be good with the headlights off. We're good. That's what it was. There we go. Ooh, definitely a bigger monster than that E30 we were driving. There we go. Oh, matted in third. There we go. Okay, what? The Supra is a lot of fun when you get it right. That la the sound of those crackles and those pops from the 2J. Oh no. Uh, just tap, just tap. That was more than just tap. Alright. So I think. I think we're gonna go back to the E30 because apparently I was doing a lot better with that. Ooh. Don't really have to use e brake though with this car. Clutch kick and power out of it. That 2J just screaming. Full lock, not gonna work. Oh, so glad I was able to spin that back before I caught that uh, the stick where it flicks back on me. That's probably a bad idea. It's cruising through, you know. Okay, we're good. We don't have a full lock, we're still good. Oh, I thought we tapped that wall, but we didn't. We're good. 2J is so loud. That's gonna be a tap. Nope. Yep, more than just tap. We're gonna try and hit that first turn again before we try and hop over to an online session. If I bet you there is no online sessions, though. I know there was a problem with the center with there being no online sessions on the Xbox One. So we'll see if that's been fixed. If not, then we'll uh, head into the drift track ourselves and get a little solo practice going. Ooh. All right, it was a little better. This is a turn that I really wanted to hit again. You break, bang it in third. Nope, nope. There we go. <laughs> that was just pure anger throttle. So we're going to see if the sessions have been fixed. I guess we'll just have to go in here because there's no lobbies available and it's not happy with us. So we're going to have to try and do the actual... drift thing and see how far we can keep it going until we run out of time so Assetto on the xbox one is definitely having some issues uh if you do play Assetto and you guys know fixes for this please let me know in the comment section below um like i said before i am trying to get my pc fixed so that i can do Assetto on the pc so we have to change our tires here and then we will go out and see what we can do. All right. 
because we are limited on time here. So we actually got to get some drifting going. All right, here we go. Oh, I want to bank those. This is just like banking points. Here we go. I'm trying to rip this section here. Here we go. Here we go. We got it. Nice and smooth. Hold it out. Straighten it up. Second through here again. Up. Oh, a little too slow on that e brake. So we're gonna head back this way so we don't lose our score. Because, you know, that is the biggest thing right now is not losing our score. Here we go. Alright, I think I'm drifting a little better under pressure. So now we got some time in here, so we're gonna rip it through here. Second gear. Oh no! Tap. Ah, oh, but we lost a lot of points for that tap. So, rip this around 180. Finish this little section off. So, like I said, if you guys have the fix for any of these issues that a setup on the Xbox One is having, let me know down in the comment section down below. We're gonna make that in between. Yes, we're good. So, because I've noticed it's been having a lot of issues recently, and I don't know if they're actually going to fix them, which is kind of sad because I do like being on a Seto, and it kind of makes me have to fix my PC to get onto a Seto more if I want to do some online drifting with people. There we go. I think we got it that time. Yep, we got it that time. Seto so much easier to drift, so much more fun than, you know, because you know, the physics are a lot better on these, because, I mean, obviously I can just let go of the wheel there, and it goes where it needs to go, just like a real car would, so we're going to try and run this wall section again. There we go. Great grab. We're gonna tap that wall. Please don't tap it. Ooh. On this outside one. Outside island. Come to this intersection. There we go. Yup. We got it. We're good. We got it. It is nice to be back on a seto. I do miss the physics of a seto. I just wish they'd fix the issues that a seto has been having, and I really wish mods were available on the. Xbox One, because that would just make life so much easier. Make it a lot easier than me having to fix my PC to run it again. But I guess I'm going to have to do that if I want to. We're doing really good, though, right now with points, so... Because we are limited on drift time. If we don't actually get drifts... Ooh, that's nice. Right on that wall. There we go. That's probably that best best wall section I've had on that one before. And then we put grass and I spin. But we're good. Alright. Let's keep... Let's, uh, let's try to run the outside section now because we got some time to kill. We're always going to get more time too. So, our gear hold this turn out. Street 90 tire is definitely the way to go. There we go. Let's see if we can do this. I don't think we're gonna save that. How? Oh, I say, how did we save that? I will never know. Ooh, that was pretty, uh, pretty decent run though. So we're gonna run this section that I've seen people run before. Second gear. We break around this island. Just tap. It's more than just a tap though. So. If you guys haven't noticed, 
Assetto drifting, I am actually probably a lot better at Assetto than I am Forza Motorsport 6, which is kind of surprising because, I mean, I don't know, the physics in Assetto feel a lot more realistic to me. Like that. Just let go of the wheel, let the wheel do its thing. But it is nice to have an e-brake here on the Xbox One. We got this. We're good. Let's smooth out. Kick it back this way. I don't think we're going to be able to hold that reverse entry. Nope. Woo. So, if you guys do play Assetto on the Xbox One, you guys want to get into a lobby, and we can figure out the lobby issues, and you guys want to do kind of like a tandem lobby or just a fun lobby here on a set on the Xbox One, comment down in the comment section down below and uh, we could do that. That's going to be grass because I do, you know, want to get some tandems in a set and it would be go cool to have people that I know and also have headsets to get tandems with rather than just random people. get some E30 tandems going because you know I do work for BMW so the love of BMW is there of course we can't go over the grass so we're running down in time here on our little drift session so I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Assetto Course if you guys want to see more Assetto don't forget to comment down in the comment section down below as well as subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and like the video if you like this if you want to see more as always, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. I think we're going to get more time. But I think that's going to do it. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. And we're out of time. So until next time, I'm Evil Rabbit. And I'm out.